Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pop Time. I'm your old host, Chicken Scratch O'Houlihan, here on the farm. As always, I'm joined by my familiar ranch hand, Conrad Zimmerman. Howdy. <laughs> and I'm also joined by the man who milks the pigs. What? Jonathan Holmes, otherwise known as Mr. Handy Pants. How are you, son? I'm all right. Milking pigs for their milk? Don tootin' ya, boy. <laughs> now, Mr. Handy Pants, I got a bit of a problem I gotta bring up with ya. Seems to me there's a slight problem on the old farm with parasites. And we're gonna have to do something about it, aren't we? Do, do some what? Plow it? Do something about it. Yes, let's do something about it. We're gonna do something about those parasites. Now, I've already pulled the worms out of the horses. And I think you know what kind of worms I'm talking about. I'm talking about ass parasites, son. And I gotta check everybody on the farm, be they animal or you. Especially you. <laughs> For ass parasites? I gotta check you for the ass parasites. Tapeworms, shingle biscuits, brown crawlers, all sorts of ass parasites that are posing terrible problems in the agricultural industry in the Old South, boy. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true, any of it. That was, you're just making up new problems. Like, what do you call them? Brown wigglers or something? Ground crawlers. I'm sorry. Yes. They're, they've not. We've not yet got a problem with the regular subspecies, but you never know what might turn up on Balboo's farm. <laughs> is that where it is? Yes. Balboo's. Yes. For the, Reputable farm for, the for pig milking. Of this no. conversation. You can't, you can't let these things go on, you see, because if you do, then eventually it spreads to the whole herd. And, and then you're screwed. That's so it's really thing. important that we, we perform these kinds of, of regular inspections of the, of the various personnel. Conrad is absolutely correct, Jonathan Holmes. And I know you, in particular, like to French kiss the mules. <laughs> no! And the mules is where the brown crawlers started. So what I need you to do is just take down your britches there, just pull down your overalls, and get get your long johns, the flap of the back of that one open, and uh, what I'm going to do is put on an elbow-length glove and grease it up all nice and shiny, and stick that up your posterior. My butt? It goes right up the butt, yeah. <laughs> You don't wanna you don't wanna do that. You don't I, I don't wanna do that, no. It brings me no joy, but the future of the farm is at stake and needs must when the devil makes work for idle hands. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better for me to just go to a doctor or or quit this job that I probably don't wanna what is milking a pig even like? What is what's that feel like? Milking their nipples and making what? And they're squeaking and squealing, I'm sure, the whole time. And who drinks pig milk? None of this. Seems the like it's... Mm. The squeaking yeah. is deafening, boy. Yeah, I bet it is. Me just pinching pig nipples while they're going... Yeah. Somebody will drink this later. It's, uh. it's not it, It's not nipples you're squeezing. Oh, what it's, is it? It, it? It's man pig milk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> the... the <laughs> There is uh, not a consumer base for pig semen milk drink. Not a consumer base, no. Uh, it is... <laughs> no. It, it is, <laughs> it's stored in my own private reserves. <laughs> so I just work for a guy. Yeah. Like, you know what I would like? Yeah. I pay a man to masturbate pigs. The farm makes the bulk of its money by me going down the old war memorial and drawing caricatures of tourists. <laughs> that allows me to save up enough money to buy more pigs for you to splack off so I can have them milky milky cheers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pod Tide. 
um, that was a visit from uh, from an, a friend of mine, uh, Chicken Scratch O'Houlihan, who owns a farm that Jonathan works on. Um, how are you doing today, Jonathan? I'm not too bad. Uh, I'm good. 